Hey, this is Chad Lowe, and you're watching the Green Girls TV. TheGreenGirls.com. I got involved because Tana is uh, irresistible. And she, uh, she told me all about her love of the ocean, and we shared Midwest roots and the fact that we both came out from the Midwest. I came from Ohio. I think she came from Iowa. And um, we talked about how much we love the ocean, and she said, you know, I have a great organization. And, you know, this was hatched, and I said, sure, I'll come out and try to surf in this. Sounds good. I was nervous. Yeah, I was definitely nervous. I'd never surfed HB, so, um, you know, it's a different wave here, and uh, it was a little shifty, a little kind of uh, peaky here and there, and, you know, and I also didn't give myself any time to warm up. I literally drove up, got out of my car, put on my wetsuit, and paddled out, and proceeded to not catch a wave. What's that, stretching? Oh, uh, yeah, that was more praying than stretching. Oh, I've been surfing, uh, you know, since I was 16, 15, 16 years old. But I don't surf that often. I mean, I. You know, I'm pretty seasonal. I'm not the guy out with the hood in the, in the, you know, January at Mavericks. That wouldn't be me. I like when it's warm. I like to trunk it. Wow. You know, it, it, the, I have to say that we have to, we have a short memory as a society. Uh, and we tend to forget. We get outraged and then something else happens and a month later we forget. So it's important that we keep our focus on all the people that were responsible for the destruction for the years and years to come, the generations to come, and we hold them responsible. We just can't forget. You know, we just need to remember what happened there. We need to remember that when legislation comes through for more offshore drilling. We need to remember that. I mean, how quickly people forgot about the Exxon Valdez and how quickly people forgot about the even larger spill in the Gulf of Mexico. I don't even, I didn't even know it had happened. And I think it was 1979. So we forget. We need to remember because I think the residents, especially in the affected areas, are going to need help for, you know, generations. And, you know, the, the ocean is not a, a, a trash can or a toilet or a dump. You know, it belongs to the people. It does not belong to an oil company. It belongs to us. And we need to be responsible. We need to hold people responsible who pollute. You have to seek out your own information because if you just rely on the traditional outlets, they're just going to give you the headlines and they're going to chase ratings because their ad dollars are tied to that. And that's okay. It's a business. That I understand that. But that's why I say it's our responsibility and people's responsibility to keep up on what's happening in that region and what they can do to help in that region. Uh, and not just today or tomorrow, but you know, 15, 20 years from now, we'll still be feeling the effects of this horrible tragedy down there. Being in the water is transformative. Being in the water is such a, a, a gift, and it's uh, it's kind of my spiritual center. The Green Girls. Dot com.